I have been asked many times of what data can be found in RAM or memory. Also, I've been asked, do we really need to capture the memory dump? Here we mean live forensic. In this video, I will show you and explain to you what kind of data you could recover or extract from RAM. Please subscribe and hit the like button to support my channel. Let's start. Remember, before we start, that the CPU or the processor cannot access the hard drive data or the hard disk data. And when you turn on your computer, the operating system and the registry files with the applications and programs that support the operating system to run will be loaded entirely to the RAM or memory for the CPU to uh, for, for the CPU operations. Also, when you run or execute any program, it will be loaded entirely or completely to the RAM. When you open any picture or a file, malware, virus, or a game, it will be loaded to the RAM. That means any click you do in that computer will be loaded to the RAM. When your machine is connected to any network device or the internet, it will be all the information of that connection will be loaded to the RAM. Then, what data in memory you will find, you will find when it comes to live forensic investigation. This video is a part of my lecture about live forensic, okay, in my university, as you can see. It's important that you know what's volatile data, what's dead forensic, what's live forensic, and how the RAM managed the, uh, how the RAM is managed by the operating system. But however, I need to make this video short. I will go straight away to what data you will find in RAM. Let's make this one uh, larger. Here is it. <clears throat> Just give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Then, if you don't know what's memory or RAM, okay, this is the RAM, how it's look like. Okay. New RAMs right now is smaller than this, but this one from uh, a computer uh, machine. Okay and the RAM is connected to the motherboard and as we said it's the only uh, not the only but it's one of uh, the locations that the CPU can access okay what we can find in the RAM then straight away what we can find in the RAM any process that run within the computer you will find in the RAM information about any open files that means when you open any file you will find in the RAM Information about registries, all the registry files will be loaded in the RAM. Also, you will find an encrypted data, an encrypted data, which is encrypted on the disk. That means if there is a file is encrypted in the disk, when you load it, uh, at, uh, when you load to the RAM to run that file or uh, whatever, it will be unencrypted in a plain text. Also, you will find the network information, password, uh, malwares, and hidden data. All of these you will find in the RAM. Let's get uh, to some of information that you will find in RAM. In our labs, we use a tool called Volatility. Volatility, and we, the tool we use is Volatility 3. If you don't know how to use it, there is a couple of videos and YouTube videos I have created in my channel. Just go to them and see, okay? We managed to recover passwords, network connections, and so on. 
processes. If you use volatility tree and access your memory dump, the one we have it's for Windows 10 and just type windows.ps list. This will allow you to view all the processes are uh, all the process running in the time that you capture the memory okay all the process that are running when you capture the memory and what you can see here there is one process BID this one 2828 and this uh, uh, the name of the process bing.exe and so on it's disabled right now okay but however and the time and the date exactly when this process was run and many 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 information and this is another process FTK Imager and this is the tool I used to create this memory dump if you don't know how to create a memory dump go and watch it in my YouTube channel okay there is a playlist called live forensic I think then we can view processes within the memory dump also you can find network informations any connection the computer made to outside world or uh, to the local host it will be listed okay it will be listed in network information and the plugin we use in volatility tree called windows.net scan and this will show you the local address local port uh, destination address destination port and the uh, uh, BID process ID the owner the creation date and so on and the state of uh, of this process and what we can see here let's maybe find anyone interesting for us uh, I think there's nothing is interesting right now I think if we scroll down in this screenshot uh, we will find telnet connection you can view that in another YouTube video okay uh, that mean yes in uh, RAM you will find network information also in the RAM or memory you will find any open it file and registry uh, files okay and registry uh, files to view the registry files using volatility tree you can just type Windows registry and you will find the registry uh, files that within that machine okay within that machine also you can find open files there is another plugin for open files also which is interesting for us interesting for us also you will find the passwords the passwords the password you will find the passwords the password the passwords in this case if you use volatility tree to analyze the memory dump you have you can you can extract the username which in this case is student and the hash value and the hash value okay and the hash value of the student username of that machine and this using the hash dump that mean if you get this hash value and you go to any website that decrypt this hash value you will find the student password is Cisco and there is another video a YouTube video you can watch uh, in my channel on how to decrypt this password and how we found the password okay also there is many many other uh, techniques many other information related to passwords within the memory dump also in memory dump you're going to find an encrypted data okay an encrypted data remember as I said in the beginning if you if you have encrypted file within your you, within your machine and that file is stored in the hard drive it's encrypted that time okay but once you run the file and you enter the password or the key it will be decrypted it will be decrypted and loaded as a plain text to the memory in that case if you create a memory dump in that time you will be able to view the passwords okay you will be able to view a password there is another video I have created in my channel how you can view the password for key pass uh, if you know key pass application where you can manage your own password in that uh, application yes we managed to decrypt manually without any tool to decrypt that password okay to decrypt uh, that password 
and there is many many other examples I'm trying to make this video short uh, to the point okay also there is hidden data you may find hidden data especially when we talk here about malicious software or virus malware uh, yeah malware is malicious software uh, virus worm Trojan horse um, anything okay these days are loaded in RAM you may find no evidence in the hard drive but you will find them are loaded only in the RAM to avoid detection by antivirus okay to avoid detection by antivirus it's exactly the same malicious code malwares um, usually as said these days are, uh, are to try to avoid uh, detecting by antivirus they load uh, to the RAM okay they load to the RAM and you will not find any trace on the hard drive okay and you will not find any trace on the hard drive hopefully you enjoy watching this video I try to make it as short as possible and see you in the next uh, presentation thank you very much